Okay, 725. You know, there's two articles in the code that always stressed me out. One article was, was Article 400, flexible cords, and they used to be flexible cords and cables. And I didn't know what they really meant. So Brian Jackson, in, in, in my teaching over time, he submitted public input to change it to flexible cords and flexible cables. So because flexible cables is different than a cable. So we got that worked out. And finally, I spent enough time in 400 that I actually understand how 400 works. But 725 is like, I'm going to say quite a black hole, but you have class one, you have <laughs> class two, you have class three. We're going to go and touch on audio circuits a little bit in 640. And then we talk about telephone stuff. And then we have computer cabling and I got a feeling that here's my struggle I got a feeling the article title is is kind of limiting in what it says because we could talk about other things in other words if you're having Brian let's just go with this this the simple I'm plugging in an Ethernet cable from a modem and I'm plugging it into my computer let's go with the even simpler Oh, let's go from the computer and you're just plugging it into your router or your switch. That's what I, that's what I meant yeah, to say. Not the motor. Let's said. just say the router or the switch. Yeah, you got a little motor, right? Mo a router. Okay. Router. A router. Switch. Oh, oh, a router? A router or a switch, yeah. To my computer. Yeah. Okay. That's not remote control. Looking at the title, right? Right. Uh, I'm going to say my mind's signaling, and we'd have to go to Article 100 definition of signaling, and because there's a definition of signal, there's a definition of remote control in 100 as well. Yeah. And there's a definition of signaling, and Mario's gonna jump over there and, and tell me what signaling, because I'm trying, listen, if we don't even know what article to go to, and this is where I'm trying to get to, we need to go to the right article to start with. And the definition of signaling, Mario says what? Signaling circuit, an electrical circuit that energizes signaling equipment. Okay. Realize this definition has been around probably for 100 years. They're talking about an incandescent light bulb. You know what I mean? 100 years ago. Yeah. That they would, they would have a little switch and they would turn it on. They would tell you that that motor is running or whatever. No, right. it's just signaling. You got to realize some of this stuff is you're looking at it today. And you think, wait, 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 that was 100. Okay, so, but hey, it still means what? Mario, read it again. Okay. An electrical? Any electrical circuit that energizes signaling equipment. Again, it used to be a big board with all kinds of little light bulbs right. inside sure. there, and it had signaling equipment. It would tell you what was on, what was off. Okay, but in today, okay, okay, and then it goes on a power limit circuit. So, Brian, Brian, I'm plugging in to the router and I'm plugging into my computer. But 725 applies to this. Yeah, and see, that's where my struggle is. But it's not in the title. So yeah. that's where I say when we get into this. Remember, I told you 400 was flexible cords and cables. Well, cables and what MC cable, NM cable. But when we're able to get a change, flexible cords and flexible cables. Well, then it's not NM cable and it's not MC cable, but it's a flex. And then 400 has a table 404 that lists all the flexible cables, right? Power cables, you know, the elevator cables. cables. Sure. So I'm like, okay, now I know what it is. So. I don't know what we could change 725 like, title to. Like data processing. You could have, you know, add data processing to it. So it's what it is, okay? So yeah. let's just go on. Well, you see, that was the original rule, but now we let, got power over Ethernet. Let's just preface this section with this statement. Help me. And and this is something that I think code, code making panel 16 is probably one of the most forward-thinking panels of all the panels in that this industry is changing so quickly that literally they were actually writing rules for 725 before standards had even been officially approved for products that had not come out yet to try to have some rules in the code to cover products that were coming out by the time what they did was through the public input, first draft, second draft, and 2020 code got approved as a standard. There was products they were trying to prognosticate would be available and write rules to cover those products so that when the 2020 came out, it was covered. And, and so I think this whole article 
and, and you kind of opened it up by saying, hey, how does this apply to anything? It, it does because it does in the article title, it says class one, class two, and class three circuits. So it does kind of do that, but it's not as electricians what we're used to thinking about when we're trying to think about these things. Mario, make a note. I want to change this to class one, class two, and class three circuits. Yeah. And Mike, what I think Brian is That's saying. That's what 725 is. Yeah. Yeah. Because 725 only deals with class one and class two and class three circuits, not what they do, not whether they're being used for remote control, not whether they're being used for signaling, not whether they're being used for power limited. We don't really care what they're being used for. It can, you can say, hey, you can use that as an informational note, you know, but, yeah. but, but the title itself should be. So for the purpose of today, I'm just going to say class one, class two and class three circuits. Well, Mike, yeah. you got to tell me what that's all about. And I can do that part. Mario, I'm sorry. Yeah, what I was going to say and what, what I think Brian is saying, this is a case where technology is ahead of the code. Mm -hmm. And there's times where the code is ahead of technology, and there's times where technology is ahead of the code. And what Brian is saying is just that. So. And the guys that are on a code panel, this has been this way. We, we, and this is how we, this is, this is 725. I mean, this is, this is, this is 725. I mean, this is our title. I mean, you can't change the title of a whole friggin' article. Well, you can on 625, guys. It had no problem there. You can I, on 6, 7, I don't 691. Know, man. I, I think they were just working so hard to try to get this stuff Inside, put together. The, the, they might not the, have gone, hey, not you know, we should fix the title. They're not seeing the force. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're just yeah, sitting yeah. there like, oh, my gosh, how are we going to get these All rules right. adapted? You ready, guys? So we're not worried about any of this title, remote control, signaling, power limited circuit. We're talking about class one, class two, and class three circuits that could be used for remote control, signaling, power circuits, and other things. Yep. All right. I'll move on. That makes me feel better. And I'm not going to get into burglar alarms, access control, nursing call, intercoms, computer network, lighting dimming controls, some low voltage industrial controls. Mm, okay, whatever. Um, 725 contains the requirements. Uh, I'm not going to get into that. Well, let's see. For remote control, signal power circuits that aren't in. Okay, I, I do. It requirements for class one, class two, and class three circuits that aren't an integral part of a device utilization equipment. You with me? In other words, if it's something is internal and it has its own internal wiring, well, that's... As in we installed it because the NEC is an installation standard. So. We installed it, but what's going on inside, we're not... We the don't code is not worried about, about that. that. Right. That's a 110.90.7. Uh, that's a 110.2. 110 you know... And 90, that, well, that's not, those are the other two. Okay, scope. These circuits have electrical power and voltage limitations that differentiate, differentiate them from electrical power circuits. I'm good with that. Alternative requirements are given regarding minimum conductor size, overcurrent protection, insulation requirements, and wiring methods and materials. Here's what I'm problem. You, 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 these guys are comparing themselves against somebody else. It's like me comparing to you or you comparing to me. We, we can't compare each other. Why are you talking about alternative methods? There's no alternative method here. We're just simply telling you, if you have a class one, a class two, and a class three circuit, this is how you... Here's the rules. Here's what the rules. Don't, yeah. don't talk about, well, these are alternative methods. So, well, you can't compare your your class one, a class two, class three circuits and say it's alternative to to overcurrent and conductor size and insulation. Let's just talk about this is what we are. Listen, don't, don't try to act like you know, you're a big, tough guy here. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's move on here.